What have you got, Watson? Afternoon, Detective Rousseau. Well, not much. Seems like a dead-end case. Two girls were abducted this morning, gone without a trace. Witnesses say they heard screams, and then the girl's belongings just left lying on the ground. One witness is back at the station, the boyfriend of the second girl who was taken. Hmm. I wouldn't say it's a dead-end case. Did you see this here? Looks like a footprint. The back of a man's shoe. I'd say it's safe to assume this was committed by a man because of the shoe print, and also that he had to carry two women out of the park in broad daylight. Looks like he went this way. Well, the first victim was taken from over here. The other one was taken from the other side of the park, over by those, those trees in the park benches. In that direction. One witness told me the first victim traveled this direction every day to get her mail. Down the sidewalk. You don't say. You say she came here every day? You awake to a dewy lawn. But sunshine is gone. Two down. I'm surprised you haven't found me yet. This crime scene is a wealth of information. You could write whole books on it. That's sicko. Leaving notes to us with riddles? Well, her mail doesn't look suspicious, but this note sure does. Dewey Lawn. A wealth of information. You could write whole books on it. It sounds like he's talking about a library. Like, we should go there for another clue. I think we should check it out. While we're at it, we can take that girl's belongings back to the station. Let me see that. Well, looky here. A book. And I'll be darned. Our next clue. You said we got the witness down at the station, right? This would be a good time to go talk to him. What are we doing here? We should be out looking for my lover. She is missing, you know. Please, let me go look for her. <sighs> Calm down. Detective Rousseau will be in to talk to you in a minute. Hello. I'm Detective Rousseau. I hope Watson wasn't too hard on you. Now, uh, let's see. Please, we should be looking for my lover. Oh, I, I understand. But the more you can tell us now, the faster we'll be able to track her down. Let's take a look at your file. Um, it says in the police report that you saw exactly what happened when she was taken. Can, can you tell me what you saw? Well, uh, not much. I saw her from across the park. We met eyes, but then a man stepped in between us. He was tall and dressed all in black. Okay, can you give me some more details about what he looked like, how tall he was, what he weighed, his hair color maybe? Did you see any of that? No, I, I just know he was about my height and dressed all in black. That's all I saw. Okay, well, thank you very much for your time. Let's go keep looking. But I wouldn't be going back to the park with him. I had to do some research of my own on the clue that was left in his lost lover's book. It was a quote from Dr. Seuss. How did it get so late so soon? And then an additive from our unsub. Don't worry, I can fix that. It seemed that our kidnapper was messing with time. The first two victims were characters in previous videos on this channel, and the quote was all too familiar. It was a quote that my grandmother had on a knickknack she gave me. But I broke that knickknack over a week ago. Its last known sighting was in an old vlogging video, so I went there to investigate. Just as I suspected, I found another clue. It said, Hope you don't have any issues with this next clue. You don't have much time, and time was capitalized. I immediately thought of my old friend, the evil octopus, who worked at the magazine shop. So I went back to present time to visit him. When I arrived, I found he wasn't there. I was afraid he had fallen victim to the kidnapper, too. But I found the next clue. It read, You saw me before. You can't find me now. I'll be seeing you presently. Be on the lookout. There is trouble in time. I didn't know what to make of this next clue, so I went to my favorite coffee shop to sit down and do some research.
Hello? Detective Rousseau. It's me. Who is this? Meet me at the old abandoned house on 2nd Street at 2 p.m. Don't be late. Time is of the essence. Who is this? Watson, I'm at the old abandoned house now. Yes. Yes, he contacted me earlier. No, uh, look, the entire place is surrounded. Nothing's gonna happen. Don't make it obvious that you're here. It very well could be a trap. Just let me handle it. It's go time. I'm back. That's right. It's the Black Bandit. <laughs> I should have known it was you. FBI's most wanted 20 weeks in a row. And we finally caught you. Ha! Caught me? Never! You do realize this place is completely surrounded. It is no matter. By the time I am done with you, nothing will be able to stop me. But why? Don't you see? You all think you're so special with your movies, sunshine heroes, and ridiculous happy-go-lucky skipping. And you, Detective Rousseau, with your blatant bad quality imitation of criminal minds. Well, now you are all trapped here, under my direction. Now I am your director, and I will make a movie of my own. I think it will be a romantic comedy. You, Evil Octopus, you're the main character. She's called Sally. And you, Girl in the Dress, you will be the antagonist. I don't know what your name will be, but you will fall madly in love and also have a fancy mustache. I can't let him get away with this. Events that are supposed to happen will never occur. There were several different me's from different timelines, all in the same place. It's only a matter of time before it creates a paradox and rips a hole in the very fabric of the universe. It will be set on a beach at sunset. And hey, hey, what are you doing? Stop that! No! Mm -hmm.